Welcome back to this live stream. You have been having technical challenges. Game between KPA side and the Eldonets. KPA having a big lead over the Eldonets side. KPA leading 51. Eldonets trailing by 12. It's the third quarter of the game. Again, we apologize. We've been having technical challenges here at the KPA Gymnasium Makande right here in Mombasa. KPA, the home side in white. Eldonet Platinum in blue. And the home team showing complete dominance over the visiting side. KPA once again leading 51. Eldonet trailing with only 12 points to their name. It's the third quarter of the game. Eight minutes, 12 seconds on the clock for the third quarter. KPA seemingly just towing around with the Eldonets. Eldonets showing that uh, they don't belong to the KPA class. Lennox Wanji again continuing his assault on the Plat Eldonet Platinum. Lennox Wanji has made over five three-pointers now in this game and is, at this point is just having a lot of fun towing around with the Eldonet side. Eldonets struggling to find their way to the cup there. I mean, the two sides just seem unmatched. To give you a quick recap, the first quarter ended with KPA leading. KPA leading uh, 30. And Eldonets only had two points for the first quarter. And at the half, KPA had 48. Eldonets only had uh, uh, 10 points. And now coming to the third quarter, Eldonets had only added two points, rather uh, uh, six points. Lennox one defects drive and is fouled by number 34, Mesha Kolo. Lennox Swanje having a time of his life here in this game. Sinking three pointers. KPA must have had some serious soul searching after their weekend outing being trashed by the Nairobi City Thunder in Nairobi. KPA just uh, uh, showing that uh, they didn't really belong to the class of the Nairobi, the Nairobi City Thunder. And they are here at the KPA Gymnasium trying to reciprocate the favor to the Eldonet sides. John Wijas is trapped by the two defenders. One attempts the three, misses. Sorry, Dolph brother attempts the three. It's a short clock violation. The Eldonet sides keep to keep the ball. Just to give you a list of the players for the Eldonet sides. Number 21, James Nguai. Number 34, Mesha Kolo. Number 30, Kevin Ongesa. Number 10, Caleb Karuri. Number 29, Elvis Mwangi. Number 7, Kevin Barraza. Number 16, James Somondi. Number 15, Neville Otieno. Number 12, Jeremiah Aliva. 13, Colin Sokesa. 33, Jackson Alunda. And number 6, Kevin Chogo. For the KPA side, the players present at the court. Uh, we we'll start with number 11, Salim. Number 5, Lennox Swanje. Number 2, number, sorry, uh, number 0, Wijas. Uh, number 12, Dolph. And of course, number 13, Abdullah Haidara. And the rest with the bench. The KPS side today, Megan gets to play his first game for the KPS side. Megan, also known as Masai, for those who know him. Has not played for this side and today is a, he has had a chance to step into the court for the KPA Docker side again <laughs> the Eldonet side as he misses the tree showing that uh, they really came to Mombasa for a holiday rather than to play basketball as uh, number 16 uh, James Omondi attempts the two pointer and he misses now KPA now seeking to add on to their assault Kisilu open at the three-point shot. Add three more for the home side, KPA. Salim Kisilu adding salt to injury for the visiting side, Leonard Platinums. 
the palming violation there for the Eldonet sides. Everything going <laughs> against their plans. Eldonet struggling against the KPA side. 57 to 16 being the scores here at the KPA Gymnasium Makande. Five minutes 48 left to play in the third quarter. KPA just showing dominance over the visiting side. Can we apologize? We've been having uh, technical challenges streaming this live game here. One J to Silo, first drive. Kicks out to Ouija, will attempt the three. Misses. Rebound now. Eldonets. I mean, this game just hasn't followed the script that anyone expected them. Eldonets getting crushed here. No fun at all for the visitors. Perhaps they just came for a holiday in Mombasa. But they forgot the main assignment, which was basketball. Eldonet Platinum showing no remorse, show, uh, rather KPSI showing no remorse to the visitors. Trying to reciprocate what they faced in Nairobi from the Nairobi City Thunder, who are currently the league leaders. The Nairobi City Thunder side dominating the whole league, having an unbeaten run. Between everyone in their path. Dorf draws middle, his foul there. Foul on the ground. And the foul gets assessed to Mesha Kolo. Substitution. Silu attempts a three. This says Haidara couldn't control. One J adds more. Couldn't this time. And you can tell by the way he's playing. Let us want to just having a time of his life. But the pass is stolen. Haidara. Ball stolen from his hand. And the Platinum's now. With the ball. One J was still. I mean, come on now. This is becoming ridiculous. Eldonet Platinum showing no spirit at all. Just getting crushed. Their body language is very lethargic, very wanting. They have a long way to go. I mean, at this point, Eldonet side should have just hired some local guys from Mombasa, pro probably from Coastal Kings, to help them because things are not looking good for the visiting side. I mean, for a Premier League game, you will not expect a team at the caliber of the Eldonet Platinums to put on such a mediocre show as Abdullah Hadara gets fouled. Substitutions for the Eldonet Platinum side. Neville checks out for number 30, Kevin Ongesa. Number 10, Caleb Karuri also checks in. I mean, there's no fun at all. Haidara <laughs> makes the first free throw. And the lead is ballooning. For the KPA side. This is the game where KPA can make a statement and make an example to the rest of the league to show that Coach Q has been putting in some work together with his coaching staff to perhaps turn around the narrative 
that has been there for a while that uh, he has been underperforming open two point shots <laughs> that will help <laughs> coach kiki <laughs> high-fiving the eldonet player but the eldonet player is not amused at all like dara in the middle misses rebound eldonet platinum Open three point shot. They're now settling for shots, trying perhaps to salvage whatever little they can as Tobias with the easy layup. And you can tell just from the body language that the level of competition here is still wanting air ball, fast break, drop by Ron. <laughs> he throws the ball straight to the fans there. Turnover KPA. Buga checks in for Dolph Fortiano. Drive kicks out. Beautiful jump shot. But still down by 40 points. <laughs> that would be something akin to what you see on the social media. When they say Chris Paul with the hood three to cut down the lead to 40. And, <laughs> and this is uh, perhaps a sample of what it looks like whenever you see that meme in social media. Open three point shot on this uh, air ball, rebound, and a foul on Joe Byron. It's a 40 point gap in the third quarter. KPA just towing around with the Eldonet Platinums. Eldonet in blue, KPA in white. Misses the free throw there. Bias will bring down the ball. Muga hung, hungry for it. Byron Miru Muga could not control it, but still has the ball. Kicks it out to Ferez. Adala kicks out to Tobias. Six the three point. Adding salt to injury here. <laughs> Eleanor Platinum will want to forget this game. Nothing is going according to plan at all for the visiting side. Muga now controls the ball for KPA side. KPA playing four out. One in. Byron to the middle. Kicks out. Perez fakes drive. Loses the handle. Let's get the ball. Open jump shot, misses. Foul is called on Muga, pushing on the back. Oh, sorry, the foul is on Eldonet. Sorry. The foul number 30, Kevin Ongesa. The foul they are pushing on the back. KPL run the triangle. Adala, nice pass to Muga, drives. <laughs> the ball is stripped on his hand. KPA Dockers will get to maintain that possession. <laughs> Shibachi was just checked in for the Dockers. Adala drives middle, floats it. Add two more to the tally. KPA 68. Add the Black Nams 23. 
45 point gap between these two sides. Oh, nice fake drive. Kicks it out, but it's stolen by Joe Byron. All alone, throws it down, Joe Byron. You can see he had the ball in his hands. The part was clear, and all he had to do was to give us a show. And Joe Byron did not disappoint by throwing one down at Tobias and even more. Of a basketball game, considering <laughs> misses there, considering the type of competition that everyone was, was expecting from the Eldonet side, Shivachi too ambitious there. And that marks the end of the third quarter. KPA 72, the Eldonet Platinum's 23. I mean, it's just disappointing. Highly disappointing, I must, I must add. The end of the third quarter, KPA leading 72, the Eldonets 23. Let me check the highlights there for the third quarter. Tisilu sinking a three. Wanje coming up with the steal there. I mean, you see just from the body language. So they are having a lot of fun, the KPA side. The Eldonet Platinum were completely unprepared for this game. The bias there sinking a three. One down. I mean, the assault continues. The KPA Dockers rushing the Eldonet Platinums. KPA trying to revenge from the assault that they suffered in the hands of the Nairobi City Thunder in Nairobi. I mean, if this is what we expect <laughs> from the Eldonet side, they just might as well not have come to Mombasa because this is a humiliating performance that they are putting up here. KPA just throwing around with the visiting side. Come back to the third quarter. Uh, to the fourth quarter, rather. KPA 72. Eldonets 23. KPA the home side in white. A foul is called on Joe Byron. A blocking foul. Number 14 for the KPA side. KPA in white. Eldonets in blue. For those of you who are just joining us in this live presentation courtesy of course series sports right here at the kpa gymnasium mombasa the game is coming to you live as neville attempts a shot and he sinks it trying to save face for the visiting side byron to muga rejected there neville comes down with the ball now Eldonet's trying to save face. Neville draws middle. Floater misses. And it's tapped in. By Olo. Oh, Sipachi middle. Kicks out to Byron. He attempted three. <laughs> It comes down to Joe Byron sinking threes. Then you know that KPA are just having a time of their life here. I mean, KPA just
just taking any shot that they want to. Trying to save base. James Omondi there with the jumper for the Eldonet side. Oh, nice cut to the middle. Byron drives. The foul is called on Neville Otieno. Blocking foul. Seventy-five, thirty-one. The scores here. KPA with a huge lead over the Eldonet Platinum side. Joe Byron attempts another three air ball this time around. Fast break now. Eldonet showing some bit of seriousness. Neville drives. It is rejected by Pharrell the dollar. It's Tobias leading the charge. Muga fake, fake again. Attempts the three point. Misses. Refused to pass on that possession. Hello attempts a three. Misses. Rebound. Joe Byron. Dalla open at the three point corner. Misses. A barrage of misses for both sides. Neville in the middle. Kicks it out. Missed the shot there. Rebound. Missed again. Adala leading the charge. Tobias to his right. Muga to his left. But he chooses Shivachi there. I mean, KPA at this point are just practicing. As far as Adala. Comes out with the turnover there. <laughs> and he faces an immediate substitution. Gary Akesa just checked in. All the Dockers. Open jump shot, misses. Rebound, Shivachi. Fast break. Rokesa to his right, but he chooses to go all the way. Count the basket and run. Shivachi <laughs> just pulling the defenders, getting everyone out of his way. And finishing strong. Getting a chance to add. One more to the tally. And he does. Sinking the free throw there. Steal by Tobias. Rakesa leading the charge. Misses Shibachi to Byron. Thought about it. Against it. Muga trying to do too much. He has ball is stolen from his hands. Turnover, Eldonet Platinum. KPA just running sets for their own entertainment. Tobias tries a three in and out. Sibachi with the rebound, puts it back. In. Add two more points for Shibachi. Oh. Neville drives middle, kicks it out to his teammate. Is rejected by Muga. Rebound Sibachi. The foul is called.
Foul on L this morning, the number 29 for the Elden at Platinum. See there the jump shot from the Elden at Platinum's and Shibachi bulldozing his way to the rim. And showing there <laughs> the disparity in size and height. Shibachi jump shot could not convert. Ball is tapped out to Wakesta. Muga tries to feed Megan and he fouls. Four minutes, 52 seconds left to play. KPS side with 80 points and uh, the Elden at Platinum, 29. It's a complete annihilation of the visitors by the home team, Tobias, with the active hands. Wakesa now drives, kicks it out to Tobias. He'll attempt a three. And he sinks it. Tobias. You can see there, <laughs> he's just having fun. Asongesa with a calm jumper there for the Elden at Platinum. Oh, Wakesa, oh, he fets him out of the gymnasium. <laughs> you can see there. Eldonet Platinum's player was backed out of the gymnasium trying to go for a block on Wakesa. But Wakesa, with the coach awareness, telling him, not today, my friend. Not today. And he earns himself a trip to the free throw line. The chance to shoot two. Gary Wakesa with a beautiful fake. And he should have at least attempted to finish strong there. Nonetheless, he gets a chance to shoot his two free throws. He makes the first one. Left on the clock. And the jump shot. He says the bus is very active in this game. <laughs> and he is not going to get that pass. The bias <laughs> with the sidestep. <laughs> this is his show now. The bus taking over. Gesa misses rebound to Bias. <laughs> Will he pass this time round? I guess <laughs> Wakesa is his favorite. <laughs> and he misses badly there. Oh, drive. Blocked it. Could not finish. Open three points. This is again foul on Ongesa, pushing Gary Akesa on the back. And the Elden at Platinum Sider over the foul limit. And KPA will shoot free throws from now henceforth. Since the first one, do not convert on the second one. Oh, it gets trapped there. Tobias coming up with the steal. Shibachi fake. <laughs> Everyone wanted a dunk there. A nice fake by Shibachi. He gets fouled. The 
Fans are anticipating a dunk from Sivachi. <laughs> but he chose to fake. And he was fouled before he could convert the two shots. Rebound KPA, Tobias attempts a three, could not convert. And the final charge was on, on Gesta. Abdullah Haidara checks in for Sibachi. With two minutes, 48 left to play. Uh, pass to Wijas, could not convert. Rebound, Platinum. Neville will get a touch of the ball after coming in. <laughs> the Eldonet plus nams look like they have no ideas on the offensive end. Sokesa checks out for Colin Sokesa. Neville drives baseline. Oh, Peck, Tans, Haidara is there. Shot clock violation. Neville. Haidara at the post. Megan finds Aidara, or oh, nice fake. Aidara forces his way. And the foul is called. Calling Sokesa there. With the holding foul. Left on the short clock, on the clock. Oh, there we are, there. Tough defense. And the post. A poor shot. The end on its side. Right down middle, kicks out to Rijas, attempts a three, cannot convert. Oh, Tobias drives. Oh, up and under, but could not finish. Bass getting fancy there. And at this point, KPA just going around with the platinum. 52 seconds left on the clock. The Kessa will attempt a three. In and out, rebound, platinum. Scores 88 to 31. Short is in and out there by Okesa. KPA gets the possession. 25 seconds left on the clock. The Dockers ahead. You can see there the reverse. Oh, sorry. The bass drives, could not finish. Rebound, fight for the ball. And the platinum will get the possession. 
12 seconds left on the clock. They should just dribble this one out. And attempt the shot. <laughs> and he gets a consolation basket with one second left to play. That's it. Ladies and gentlemen, KPA side showing complete dominance over the Eldonet Platinums. KPA leading 88. Eldonet 33, a 55 point gap. I mean, this is just an embarrassing show that the Eldonet side has put for us. Eldonets getting crushed right here at the KPA Gymnasium Makande. They should do better than this. This is an embarrassing performance. And we expected much better from them. we we'll leave you with some of the highlights for the game. Again, we apologize. We have been having some technical challenges here. The stream started way later than expected. But again, the game did not live up to the hype. KPA 88, Eldonet 33, and the fans here are not happy with what they saw. Going home displeased with such a pathetic performance from the team in Eldoret. And this leaves much to be desired for a league at the Premier League level. Teams should not be put in such embarrassing performances. It should be the best of the league. Leave with some of the highlights of the game.